Good day and welcome, Zongo here with another video. This time, we are talking about Heroes of the Storm, or more specifically, ways to counter play Kalthos. I've got about 300 games in as Kalthos, so yeah, I've noticed quite a few things that people get blatantly wrong when playing against Kalthos. I'm here to share them with you. So. Number one is pay attention. Turn up your game volume. Turn off background music if you need to, because that burning is fairly loud, at least to me. And if you move your screen off of the living bomb, there's no more burning sound. That means if you're hearing a burning sound, well, that quite simply means that it's on your screen and you should look for where it is if you don't know. Number two is look at your health bar. Pay close attention to your health bar. It's rather difficult to always be able to know the relative damages of... 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 of of other characters, but you can always look at your health bar. See this yellow bit of Arthas? That was what his health was going to be after the full living bomb, assuming he didn't heal. And so, if all of your health bar is yellow and you're not getting healing, obviously you're about to die. But you've got like three seconds to do something about it. So, in the words of Stonewall 008, don't die like a bitch, and instead, use your time that you've got still alive to soak up more damage, or do damage, and make your death actually worth something. On a related note, is Pyroblast. You've got two seconds between well the ca the start of the channel and the time that it's launched. Mayhem. So within those two seconds, you should be doing something to Kalthos to try and, like, you know, prevent him from doing it. With a stun or something? I don't know. Or, you know, you could pile all your damage on top of Kalthos and kill him. That's always an option. But if it's already coming out, guess what? Running doesn't help. Not even Falstad's mount can outrun this. So... Again, in the words of Stonewall 008, don't die like a bitch, and try to actually do something, instead of just dying without, well, doing anything. So, on to tip number three, move around, er, tip number four, move around. Kalthos has two abilities that are skill shots. Guess what? Guess what's really easy to hit when you do not move around? That's right, skill shots. Congratulations. And once you've gotten into the habit of constantly moving and moving in between attacks and all that, you'll also be well prepared to fight against other heroes like 80 to 90 percent of the rest of the hero of the storm cast because most of them use skill shots so yeah always moving around is pr a pretty good idea on to tip number five tanks can generally avoid the or just ignore the zone of con these zones that Kalthos places down. 
because compared to their health pool, they are not incredibly significant. Like, that's not to say you should just t stand in the zone, but if you're, if Kel'thas is putting flame strike between him and the enemy, there's no reason to not just ignore it and walk straight to Kel'thas, because you'll be able to catch Kel'thas and, like, kill him. The same does not go for um, squishies, unless, you know, you can actually guarantee that you can kill him. And that you're not just setting yourself up to die by walking through the zone to get to kill Thos. For instance, if their entire team is by Kel'thas, it, if and you're a squishy, walking through Kel'thas's flame strike is probably not a good idea. Similarly, um, walking by a teammate with flame with living bomb is also not a good idea if you're squishy. Tanks can, again, largely ignore this because it's not as significant, so long as they've got a reason to ignore it. it shall be done. Again, like trying to get to Kel'thas. So, yay. And one last thing. The uh, last bit of counterplay I can think of is actually involving Phoenix. Wouldn't have it any Phoenix prioritizes the lowest health target in the area. <coughs> and, er, prioritizes heroes, and be among them, prioritizes the lowest health character. See, it's targeting the middle one because it's the lowest health minion. See? And then, once a hero steps in, it switches to the hero. You can use this targeting priority to, you know, soak up damage from the Phoenix. This... I cannot tell you how many times people... Tanks have stood there and went like, Okay. My teammate's trying to turn in the coins that will have our bombardment. I can soak up this Phoenix Blast, but uh, it's a very, very scary circle. I better run. Oh, wait. Now we don't turn in the coins. And now they just wiped our whole team. Great. We gave them a bombardment. Like... This is not an incredibly significant amount of damage. Of course, you shouldn't just stand in it for no reason, but stand in it when it serves a purpose, like capping objectives, or preventing this from hitting an immortal, or something like that. Because if you're doing this, it basically negates a large strength of the Phoenix, which is area denial. Because basically all the area you're denying is the, or er, letting Kel'thas deny, is the air, small area around your character. Instead of this whole freaking area. Very big difference. This versus this. Very good. So... I hope you found this informative and helpful, so best of luck in the Nexus, and have fun, have a good day, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have fun.